Alright, here we are on the show once again in episode 143. Here we are. Thanks to all of you for watching. And if you are, I hope you do it. I only ask for one thing, and that's that you keep watching. Well, I guess two things. And share this link with five new people every week so the show can keep growing, getting bigger and better for all of you. Thanks again, everybody. Alright, well, very, very exciting things to talk about, but not just in Sarnia. We stepped out of the Sarnia box down to London, Ontario for the 11th annual Rock the Park. And Rock the Park adding a country night this year on the Wednesday, which sold out to 14,000 fans on the country night. And then continuing on, of course, Weezer was there, uh, Sammy Hagar, Burton Cummings, Huey Lewis in the News, Highway Jones. Oh, who's Highway Jones? Oh, well, let me tell you about Highway Jones, a local rock band from Sarnia, Ontario. Uh, won a contest for the privilege of opening for some of these big acts on the Saturday down at Rock the Park. And we've got some of the highlights. Take a look at this. Once again, congratulations to Highway Jones for rocking it loud down at Rock the Park, the 11th annual Rock the Park. Way to go, guys. That's Brad, Brad, Paul, and Justin at Highway Jones. And if you want to find out more about them, go to their website online, highwayjones.ca. All right, now let's go on to the entertainment scene. This week on the entertainment scene, I haven't really showed any of it to you, but now that round two is over, we want to show you some of the footage from Indie Fest. So take a look at the performers, and when we come back, I will have your winners who will be performing at August 23rd, the Indie Fest finale here in Sarnia at Rustic. Take a look at this. I'll be right back.
right, well, uh, thanks to my friend Kevin Thorne for providing the video there. Great performance down there. Now, we only had three bands competing, uh, but we did have a special appearance from uh, friends of mine, David Chalk, Mike Blackmore, and the saxophone sensation himself, Chris Mullen, over there to open up the show. Thanks so much, guys, for doing that. Um, I, I'm glad I wasn't a judge, but I will tell you this. All the scores were like a half a point to a point. So close, so, so close. It's just unbelievable, the talent that was down there for round one and round two. But we got to pick some winners, and here they are. No particular order. Here are the four winners for August 23rd. Lazy Mouth from Sarnia, Ontario, performing. Time is a Hymn from Chatham, Ontario. Opus Rex from London, Ontario. And Powerhouse, also from Sarnia, Ontario. And... We decided to throw in a wild card. So hold on. There's three other bands that performed and performed extremely well. And we decided to throw their names into a hat and pick a wild card. So there will be five bands in all performing August 23rd. And the wild card winner for IndieFest finale down August 23rd. Gypsy Flats. Congratulations to all the bands and congratulations and thank you to all the bands who performed and everybody who's helped make this come together. Now, tickets will go on sale for August 23rd down at Rustic for uh, $5. They'll be on sale at Cheeky Monkey and the Youth Talent Showcase will take place during the day. Starts at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Ages 12 to 19 can perform. Doesn't have to be original but if you want to perform and you're in that age group, go to IndieFest.ca. More details and everything else will be at IndieFest.ca as well. The Battle of the Bands will begin that same evening starting at 6 o'clock. Once again, tickets only $5 in advance and $8 at the door and proceeds going to uh, support uh, Kids Help Phone and create awareness for them as well. So check that out online, indiefest.ca. All right, now let's go into the community. This week in the community, Eve Morgan, who is an event coordinator for the Alzheimer's Society here in Cerny, has a very fun special event, Bootleg Memories. And here to talk about it, let's go see Eve Morgan. This week in the community for the show, some special events coming up. And here to talk to us, Eve Morgan, who is the event coordinator for the Alzheimer's here in Sarnia Lampton. Thanks for being here, Eve. Thank you very much, Dave. It's true. We do have a brand new event coming up. It's called Bootleg Memories. So bootleg for the theme, Memories for Alzheimer's uh, Disease. And uh, bootleg is the whole Chicago speakeasy sort of theme. Nice. So that's what we're going for. So we're hoping that people will dress semi-formal for the event or uh, dress as uh, flappers and, uh, and gangsters too. Too. So the event is September 27th at DeGroote's Nurseries and uh, we've arranged to have champagne on arrival for every guest that comes nice. and uh, we're also encouraging people to buy tables of eight instead of buying a single ticket. Uh, single tickets are $70 each but if you buy a table of eight it's $500 so you're saving $60 and uh, this event it's not just for couples it's for everyone so if you've got a group of ladies that want to get together and have a great time party it up the whole right. night long then this is the perfect event for that. Um, we are looking Looking for uh, premier sponsors too. So if your company is interested in doing something like that, we would uh, really appreciate it. Uh, the number to call is 519-332-4444. So bootleg memories, the whole Chicago speakeasy theme. It's going to be a really, really fun night. And uh, we have uh, Chris Molyneux and Erica and Sarah who are going to be performing little vignettes through they the are, night. Of uh, They are awesome. Aren't they? I call Chris the saxophone sensation. And Erica and Sarah, two great local performers here in Sarnia. Absolutely amazing talent here in Sarnia. And I called them up when uh, we decided to do this event. And I said, you know, do you think you guys could kind of collaborate and give us a, some theme songs from the 1920s, 1930s? Ah. And she was like, Erica and Sarah like, yeah, sure. Spoke to Chris. And he's like, yeah, sure. So the three They weren't of them, even born yet. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the three of them are collaborating. And then, of course, um, people are going to want to dance. And we're hoping yeah. that people are going to want to dance the night away. So we have uh, DJ Vinny Dominici, who is uh, DJing that night. The uh, whole event is going to be uh, decorated by Under the Grapevine Design, who have wow. gracious, graciously uh, given their services to us. So thank you to uh, Under the Grapevine Design. And um, it's going to be a great night. So I really hope you come out. It's a fundraiser for the Alzheimer Society of Sarnia Lampton. We have Peely Wines on board. Um, we also have Eclipse Catering on board. And the uh, meal is going to be done by Personal Touch Catering with wow. Chef Brech. Oh, he, and he's awesome. Great food. Had his 
stuff before. You got a lot of great people involved in this event. What, um, you know, Alzheimer's? I think most people have an idea about what that is. But can you can you give us a little more background on where? What well, is this? How does this money get used? Well, with with Alzheimer disease, so the Alzheimer Society does help um, uh, families uh, deal with uh, you know a family member who has Alzheimer's disease. Right. So it's not just at the later stages. Right. Um, it's also at the early stages where you know because this disease is happening earlier and earlier. Absolutely. So what they want to do is make sure that uh, people know what the resources are out of there. And uh, all proceeds from this event will benefit uh, Alzheimer's Sarnia Lambton. And, right. you know, it's a personal thing for me because my mother was diagnosed okay. with Alzheimer's disease at 55. Very you young. know, so she's uh, she's at Sumac Lodge and she's doing quite well there. But uh, she's been dealing with this disease. We as a family have been dealing well, with this disease. Well, I was going to say, it really does affect the it, family, right? It does. It's it, got to be hard. It affects the whole family. And, you know, my children have uh, dealt with, you know, the youngest grandparent and not having that person around and watching this disease progress. So it's something that touches the lives of so many people and every member of the family. But Alzheimer's Sonia Lampton, the office here at 420 East Street in the Chris Dawson Center, they will, uh, they have all the resources and they can put you in contact with the people that you need to, to know to get you through this and to right. help you take each step with your family member. Wow. Well, I think it's great. It sounds like a lot of fun, if anything. And I mean, Chicago, so I could come in like my mafia. Oh, yeah. Be like the I'm hoping so. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. And uh, we've got a classic car that's going to be out there, too. And, um, you know, DeGroote's is such a great venue, and they're helping us as well. So I'm really hoping for a, a sellout event. Uh, we're, we're not making it massive this year. Uh, our max is uh, about 200 people. Okay. So uh, once the tickets are gone, they're gone, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Great. Sounds yeah. like a lot of fun. Eve Morgan, thank you so much for thank being you, here Dave. on the show and sharing Thanks that. Thanks so much. We're going to go back to the studio now and uh, talk some more information about this great event coming up here in September. Stay tuned. All right, once again, there's Eve Morgan with that information for Bootleg Memories in support of the Alzheimer's Society here in Sarnia. Thanks, Eve, for being here on the show. There's phone numbers and website up on the screen if you want to get more information. Get your tickets. They're going fast. And uh, I'm going to look around for my pinstripe. Maybe I can be the godfather that night. What do you think? Anyway, thanks again, Eve Morgan, for being here on the show, and good luck with your event. All right, well, this gentleman joins us every week because he's got some special tips and tricks to help us out. Uh, and if you are a note taker, you're definitely going to want to pay close attention to this. Right now, let's go to our friend Apps with Mark Russell. Thanks, Dave. Throw away your pens of paper, forget cursive writing, and stop hitting Control D to bookmark. This week, we look at Evernote on Apps with Mark Russell. <laughs> Evernote is a range of software used for note-taking. You can make notes of text or handwriting, web links or full websites, pictures or voice messages. Notes can be sorted into folders called notebooks, and they can be edited, sorted, annotated, exported, and include attachments. Evernote saves to the cloud, but you can also have it make local copies so you can work offline and access your notes from any computer or mobile device. Being able to sort into folders and search your notes are features that make Evernote a better choice than Google's Keep or Microsoft's OneNote. I use it to write my scripts for this segment every week. I can access it from wherever I am using my phone. I start off by making notes about a topic as they come to me, and then further refine it and check facts when I sit down to write my final draft. Evernote was launched in 2008 and now has more than 100 million users. It is available for free, with a paid version offering up to a gig a month in data transfers. Evernote is available on Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS, iOS, Android, Blackberry, and many, many more. This has been Apps with Mark Russell. All right. Well, thanks, Mark. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I'd heard of Evernote. I'd never looked at it. And now I'm glad that I did. And it's all because of you, my friend. Uh, Mark is here every week talking about some tips and tricks to help you with your computers and your phones and your apps and all that. Anyway, if there's something in particular you'd like him to look into for you, send him an email to info at markrussellsarnia.com. Thanks again, Mark. We'll see you next week, my friend. All right, well, lots of local events as always, so turn up the speakers and stare at your screens, and here we go, local events for this week. <laughs>
I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Somebody uh, asked me last week why I always laugh and going into that segment and coming out. I don't know what it is. I'll try not to. I'll be, I can't do the serious thing. It just is that time of the show, I guess. Okay. Um, still looking for somebody from Austin, Texas, who watches the show every week to send me an email or Facebook or something and tell me who you are because you're watching. They go to the website like sometimes 16 times a day. So thank you for that. But uh, And I'd like to know who's watching. I never know who's watching. I'm running into people on the street say, I watch your show, and that's great. Uh, send me those emails or comments on Facebook and just say, hey, Dave, I watch your show. It's, I'm really curious to see who's watching. So. Anyway, just before we wrap up, of course, local events. Uh, first Friday happening here in Sarnia, downtown. Always a great time, but a special event. Uh, Chris Gormley from Daylight for Dead Eyes is drumming across Ontario to raise awareness and funds for the Sick Children's Hospital. Um, and there's going to be an event starting about 5.30 down at Patty Flaherty's, and he'll be marching with his drum down to Cheeky Monkey and arriving there around 6.30, 7 o'clock. So if you're in Sarnia and you want to check that out, sounds like a lot of fun. We're probably going to have an interview with Chris that we'll have on next week's show. And, of course, the Powerboat Race is coming up uh, in the following weekend. We might have some special things here on the show. That's a clue. All right. All right. Well, that's all the time I got for you this week. Have a great week and an even better weekend. And I will see you next time right here in the show. Bye-bye for now.